Hey, it's Mike from drive80.com and today I'm going to show you how you can make GIFs on your own for free with Giphy.com. So we're going to start off here with a video. This could be animation or regular video, it doesn't matter. As long as it's visually engaging, you're not going to be able to get sound out of a GIF. But yeah, so make sure that obviously what you're getting is going to visually uh, stimulate your audience. What I'm going to do here is I'm on my YouTube channel, I'm grabbing our main video. I'm going to go up here to the top. I'm going to select the uh, address and hit Command C on a Mac or Control C if you're a PC. And I'm going to go to uh, Giphy.com and I'm going to make sure I'm on the front page. Now I have a free, it's free to sign up for Giphy. And so I have an account already made and I can either upload an MP4 or I can create um, a GIF from a YouTube link or a Vimeo link, which it tells you right here. So I hit create in the top right. What I'm going to do is just use GIF Maker today. I'm not going to use any of this other stuff. I'm just going to stay right here. So I'm going to paste my video link here. And Giphy is going to now make me a GIF. Here's how it's set up. Here's the video that I have. And it's going to show me a preview of where I of what it's doing. What it's doing, it's starting here at zero seconds, and the duration is right here for three seconds. So you'll see that it's it's animating in, and after three seconds, it's animating out. Now, if I were to extend that, you can see as I'm extending it, you're getting a sneak preview of where it's going to end. If I let go, now you're going to see it loop. So it's going to be there. Yay, Phil comes in, he kicks it out, winks, and then it goes and it loops again. So you want to find a pretty visually engaging part of your video. And just so obviously you probably would know your video. So this one's a couple of them. There's like this blah, blah, blah section. Like there it is. And then you click, you know, so I'm like, is this going to tell the story enough for someone watching this to get what I'm trying to say? You can also add captions on this. But for this, I am going to find my favorite part of this video where our character is right here. So he starts juggling and then he pees himself, looks at the camera, gets red faced and bows down. No, I don't want him to bow down there. I want to go back right here. Okay. So he's going to juggle, smiling, and then he's going to pee himself. Yes, this is our main video. And then his face is going to turn right and it's just going to keep looping. I think this is great. This is going to, is going to get someone to stop me. Like, what the hell is this? Now, in that, now, if this is just the, the link or the GIF on its own, I could put this in Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever it is, and just have this looping. And then in my description, I can put whatever I want to say. Now, if I want to take that, you know, I can say, you know, don't pee yourself, get an animation, or you're probably awkward on camera. We can, we can help that by animating your video. And if I, you know, or whatever it is that comes to mind, what I want to say, oh, he's like kneeling down. I don't want to do that. Don't do that. Let's say loop, juggle, P, <laughs> face red, great. I can also add a caption. So I can say what I just said. Don't P yourself, your, your elf. Get an animation. All right, so now that just typed it up here. And you have all these different options here. So once I do that, I can, now if we look up here in the top of the screen, you can change your, your fonts. It's kind of limited. So you can just change like different styles of fonts. I'd probably go with this one. If you scroll down a little bit, you can also change the color. So you'll see a little bit there. Change different colors, like green or whatever. I'm going to keep it at yellow or white. And I can go back up here. I can click it. I can grab the bottom right-hand corner. There we go. And I can drag this to where I want it to go. He's still kneeling down. Why are you doing that? Don't kneel down. Okay. Great, don't pee yourself, get an animation. There we go, so now I can create a GIF. If I scroll down, I can do, and I can add tags too, I can do like animation. I think this is how you can people can find you on Giphy.com. I can make it public or private. I don't wanna make it private, I want anyone to find it. I'm gonna create my GIF. Now while this is generating, um, I'm going to just waste time because I don't really have anything planned on what to say. But again, once this is created, I'm going to show you how you can put it on Facebook. I'm going to show you how you can put it on LinkedIn. I'm also going to show you how you can put it in an email, and we'll go from there. So here we go. Here's my GIF, and what I'm going to do is I can copy a link. I could download the file, or I can embed it like in a website. Now, if I copy the link, 
what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this guy. I'll do a short link, Giphy link, HTML video. I just grab the short link. And what I can do with that, if I copy that command control or command C on a Mac, go to my Facebook page. This is my business page. Yes, we're doing $200 animation or $200 logo animations. If you want one, let me know. And I'm going to post it. So if I hit here and I hit control or command V, you're going to get a preview of this GIF. And if I hit publish, it is going to publish my video. And if I scroll down, it should be looping. Let's see. Here we go. Here it is. And it should be looping. I don't know why it's not looping. Why aren't you looping? Let's see. It'll take me to Giphy.com to watch it. Now, it should be looping. If it is giving you this problem, you can also just download it natively if it's giving you an issue. So I'm going to delete this guy. And I'm going to delete that. Delete this. I can also just save that file um, from there. So if I go to download, I can do source. That's going to give me a video, but I want to do not a video. I want to do a GIF. I'm going to download a GIF into my GIF folder. Drive 80 ping. Make sure you give it a good name. You know that seems to be a great one since we're talking about ping. I'm going to go back to Facebook. Go to my business page, and I am going to go to write something. I'm going to grab the photo icon on the bottom to get the GIF. I'm going to grab that right there. I'm going to hit open. And this is going to upload it natively to Facebook. And I, here I can give it a title. I could say something. I don't want to do that right now because I don't really care to. And I'm going to hit publish. So while that's doing that, I'm also going to show you how to get the video file. So let's go back to Giphy. Let's do source. Let's download this guy because we want this video file. And I'm just going to click on what I already named it as. It's still going to keep MP4. Could hit save. And I'm going to go back to my Facebook page. I'm going to just see if my GIF is there. Yes. Yeah, so now my GIF is there. If I click it, it's going to animate. Perfect. Now I'm going to delete that. <laughs> Just in case, you know, I'm not ready to have that up there yet. So if I go to LinkedIn, so I did com control or command T to get a new tab. I now have my video file. Now LinkedIn has a new ability to upload video directly to LinkedIn. I've tried to copy and paste a link in, in my status. I have tried to upload a GIF. It's not working too great, but the cool thing is I can do a video. I'm going to grab my video file, which is the MP4 file that I downloaded. And I'm going to, I could say something witty right here. I don't really feel like doing that. I'm just going to post it. Obviously, get as creative as possible as you want. Now, as this is uploading, I'm going to go and I'm going to show you how you're going to email it. So I already have an email open. So I'm going to go to that. I'm going to bring up my finder window. And I'm just going to grab my GIF. I'm going to drag it into my email. Now, give this a second. And now I have an animating GIF in my email, which is really cool. Now I could take it. If I click on it, I can resize it. I could shrink it down. I can expand it. You can have it just as an email to send people. You can have this as an email that you can send out as an email blast. You can put this as your email signature. Um, what else can you do with it? Again, uh, if you don't want to put in an email, you could also do it in a blog post. If you have a blog post, you just upload the GIF. And it's just something that's going to grab people's attention and make them stop. And that's really what you want to do with your marketing. Now we go back to LinkedIn, let's check on the process. We'll let you know once your video is ready to view. It doesn't look like it is, it is yet. Um, well, let's just wait on that for a second. So yeah, so again, Giphy.com and, um, you can do all this cool stuff with it. Let's see what else we could do. No, that's pretty much it. Let me go check on LinkedIn. Of course, it's going to take forever as I'm making a video. So at this point, you might just want to check out. If that's the case, then uh, you know you can ask me any questions, mike at drive80.com. Um, you can also check out drive80.com if you're looking for an animation to explain what your business does in less than a minute. Sometimes it takes us 90 seconds. Our pricing starts at $10 million. No, just kidding. You just email me. It's always it's custom to whatever the job is. 
We also have $200 logo animations that are six to 10 seconds. And if you purchase one of those, we'll take up to $500 off of your explainer video if you buy one of those within 30 days after purchasing your logo animation. And okay, so LinkedIn basically is just being a total dick right now. Um, so I apologize, you won't be able to see it, but it does work, trust me. This probably just makes for a bad um, e explanation or whatever you call these videos, <laughs> tutorial. But yeah, so that's it. I'm going to stop now. And again, thank you for your time.